Hey guys, Steve Desai, welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about Sasang fans. These are crazed, obsessed fans that are obsessed with either one particular K-pop group or multiple K-pop groups. This word directly translates to private life fans in Korean. These crazed BTS fans have ways of getting information that you didn't even know was possible to get. Information that some of their friends and family don't even know. Today we're going to be discussing the lives of Sasang fans, how they get the private information of BTS, what they do with this information and who is involved. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be notified when the new video drops. And if you're a hater and like to be the first to leave your hate comments, don't forget the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now, let's jump into it. You may have seen crazed Sasang fans all over the internet doing the unthinkable to get close to their favorite K-pop idol. BTS is obviously no exception. They have even crazier fans and even bigger fans that are willing to do anything to get close to their favorite K-pop idol. Sometimes things like tracking their hotel down, chasing after them, and jumping on them when they see them. The unsuspecting Jungkook was washing his hands inside a public restroom when two Sasang fanboys entered in as well. One of them took a photo. Despite Jungkook's protests, he even posted it on Snapchat with the caption OMG OMG finally I meet Jungkook but he say no photo log. We have a girl here chasing after Sugar. It seems like maybe he had just come out of his hotel or this was after an event. <laughs> And this woman chased after Suga for a very long time and was screaming Suga's name. It seems like Suga might have been terrified as he was running too. And anyone would be terrified for a screaming girl running after you. Like, what are you gonna do to me? Honestly, her best bet was probably to just walk up quietly and walk up like a normal person and ask for a photo or whatever. Because running up to Suga is just gonna freak him out. And obviously, Suga's gonna run if there's a woman running after him. But this is not all Sasan fans do. In fact, Chasing after them and tracking their hotel or tracking them after an event is probably the most tame thing that these Sesson fans do. Some Sesson fans would go even further to find jobs at airports, clothing stores, gyms, anywhere that BTS might have previously gone to or hinted towards continuously going to. Some would go even further as to work in the label itself, either selling merchandise or any type of sales. By doing so, they would have access to the computer and to the database in which they can track down any information that is given by BTS. Some would even go as far as to work in particular camera companies that Big Hit would be shopping at to be able to get personal Big Hit information. Having access to this database gives you information that you wouldn't normally get from anybody such as addresses, credit card information, phone numbers, and things like that. Be aware that phone numbers are all public, so if you do have someone's phone number, you're able to track down a lot more information than you think you are. A lot of companies have you, the personal buyer, create an account with phone numbers, addresses, and things like that, and that is where these Sesson fans get their information from. Some will go even further as to work at an airport to gather information on their favorite K-pop idols. We'll get into that very soon. We've spoken about a thus pantsless girl before. She is so pantsless. Why are you so pantsless? Can we ship her some pants? But here is she again with her no pants. She's obviously looking to catch attention of a boy, perhaps a K-pop idol. She thinks they'll look at her, her with no pants, and then fall in love. But no, hunty, they have love for me and me only. And they ain't gonna look at no pantsless girl because they're loyal to me. I'm kidding. But she is a very good example of what frequently happens to K-pop idols when they come out of the airport. <laughs> At the very least, it seemed like she was not at the same airplane as her and that this woman was just waiting at the airport to meet BTS. There are literally people who will track down the plane of BTS and make sure that they get on that flight just so that they are on the same plane as BTS. Some will even go as far as to use the bathroom right after the K-pop idol has used their bathroom. Disgusting. So, how do they do it? Is it an inside job? Is someone from Big Hit leaking this information to these Sesson fans? Not always. Sometimes these Sesson fans will apply to work in an airport months before they know that their specific K-pop idol will be at that airport. K-pop idols like to put out an itinerary of when and where they'll be. They'll usually have a plan for the year of what they're going to be doing. If the plan says they'll be in New York, there are chances are they will be at the biggest international airport in New York. And if you had applied for an airport job at that airport, you would be able to see your favorite K-pop idol. Also, if this K-pop idol is specifically known to fly one specific airline and one specific airport, you know which one they're going to be at. So applying a few months in advance, you get settled in, you figure out how to work the job, you figure out how to work the system, and when your K-pop idol finally comes up and meets you, 
when the time arrives, you then snap a picture of their passport, you snap a picture of their ID, and you get that personal information. For example, this one airport staff took a picture of an EXO member's passport, and here is that picture. Everything is obviously blurred out. Sesame fans would usually have a group chat or a forum of some sort, and they would be able to share this information with each other. With that, they are able to then sell the information for anyone who is willing to pay a large sum of money for it. Or they use that information for their own personal gain to get closer to the K-pop idol. With that private information, it's very easy to go into the airport computer and then put that information in to see which flight they'll be on, what time their flight's gonna be on, and what plane they're gonna be on. On the note of selling information to other Sessons, these Sesson fans sell the information either through Facebook groups, Instagram, forums, or group chats. There's literally accounts dedicated to just selling this information we're selling any private information that any of these Sesame fans can get their hands on. However, these pages are not popular. You would think that these pages are really popular because they would have to sell it to a mass amount of people in order to make a lot of money. But these pages don't function on popularity because if these pages were too popular, they would be shut down. Oftentimes what they do is very illegal. So they only sell it to the few select people that they trust and that they know will buy this information. Posts will range from zero likes to three likes, meaning this is a very exclusive group of people. The accounts are usually public. They're not private. Anyone can literally go to these accounts and follow them and buy this information. However, these accounts are very difficult to find. And it's a very, very small group of crazed fans who are willing to buy this information. As I said, they keep it very, very private to prove that only Sesson fans who are dedicated and who are real, who are proven Sesson fans, are able to buy this information. If you didn't already know, Sesson fans' Instagram accounts look like this. As you can see, there's a lot of personal information and each one is kind of slightly blurred out and you have to DM the person who runs the account in order to buy that information. Please report this information as you can report this information directly by emailing Big Hit at protect at bighitentertainment.com. A lot, a lot of Sesson fans say it's their absolute goal in life just to be noticed by their favorite K-pop idol and remembered by their favorite K-pop idol, no matter the cost. So you're thinking like, oh, well they could just do something nice and they'll be remembered too. But these Sesson fans want to be remembered even if it's a bad memory. They do not require a good memory. and They don't care about that. This means they'll literally do anything to be remembered and things that are so crazily out of the norm, such as pulling hair, pushing people. This has resulted in several K-pop idols injuries, such as broken legs, bruised ankles, things like that. Because you're probably not going to forget the person that bruised your ankle. Hi, future editor Dave here. So I just wanted to add to this note very quickly that there have been Sesson fans that will literally go out of their way to bring weapons to meet and greets, airports, obviously outside the airport, not in the airport, wait for the K-pop idol to come out and then physically harm the K-pop idol because they don't care if they go to jail because now the K-pop is going to know who they are, try to, you know, get back at the Sesson fan. That's what they want. They want this attention. They want to be like, oh my god, I got, I got, you know, noticed by my K-pop idol, by my opa. They would literally do that. I mean, there are cases where people are literally trying to just get the K-pop idol, rape them, stab them. Um, these people are obviously not well in the head. Uh, and I don't want to get too much into that because it gets kind of deep and dark, but if you guys are interested in that, I will make a part two talking about that side of Sesson Van, and let me know if you want to see that. This is such a dangerous thing, and they do not understand how dangerous it is, because if you truly loved the idol and you truly want them to continue to do their thing, you would not hurt them in a way that would prevent them from doing their thing. They need to be locked up, they need to be sued, this is not normal behavior, and this behavior should not be rewarded by then the K-pop idol having to remember them. Now, why am I saying all this information? You can then take this information and bring awareness to these companies and K-pop idols that may not know this and that can help protect them. Maybe these entertainments will stop booking K-pop flights through the actual K-pop idol and instead book it through the entertainment. Maybe these entertainments will stop taking commercial flights and start taking private jets. And maybe they'll avoid the K-pop idol having to check in by themselves altogether. There's a lot of flaws within the Korean entertainment system, such as a lot of these things that I have just mentioned. And a lot of these things have been fixed with the American entertainment industry. So I hope that this gets looked at and I hope people take this seriously because I cannot, right? It's 2020, we do not need more instances like this. We won't leave that in the past, okay? So let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear your full opinions on this. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you liked it at all. Share it if you think it'll be helpful for anybody. And I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for the comments. With that said, I also have a Patreon. So if you want to go check out my Patreon, I do a reaction video such as BTS Run, Bon Voyage, ship videos, any type of stuff that you may be interested in, it'll be there in Patreon. So 
I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can check it out. And with that said, there are two videos at the end of this video, so I hope to catch you over there. See you then. I'm not the one